We are so glad that you've been joining us all week long for our very special Hope Arising broadcast. We just want to say a big thank you to each and every one of you who have given and supported our ministry. We cannot do this without you. And Tom, we have a really special announcement that we're going to oh, share with our viewers for today. It's going to be exciting, <laughs> so exciting, this program. We have got different levels. We have our Hope Arising chart here, different levels that we're asking you to be involved in. We're looking for someone to give a $5,000 gift, a couple people to give $2,000 gifts. $84 a month, $50 a month, $20 a month. Sydney, there's going to be a great opportunity for everybody to be involved where God is telling you to be involved. It's going to be a great time. It's going to be a wonderful time. Everybody can do something. So you want to make sure that you stay tuned. We have an incredible show for you. I'm going to be in the background with the whole team, but we have Matt Sorger with us that has an incredible message just for you that's uplifting and encouraging our whole team. We have Nicole and David Binion with us. So stay tuned with us. Hope Arising is starting right, right. now. Welcome everyone, we are here and guess what? We are ready for you. This is Hope Arising and I am here with the prophetic man of God, Matt Sorgo. So good to have you, sir. Hey man, great to be here tonight. I love this opportunity, Matt, because every time we come together, there's a word in the house mm -hmm. and God has spoken to you two words, fresh oil. That's right. What is he saying That's to us right. tonight? Well, I believe we're at a season of divine visitation. And I believe there's no time or distance in the spirit that as the glory of God fills this place, your home is gonna become filled with the glory of God. And God is going to release a fresh anointing and a fresh oil on your life, but not just on your life, on your entire family. I really believe that we're in a season where God is bringing restoration to, to entire families. And I believe it's gonna be a family revival. So get ready, I, I want you to, tonight as you lock in with me to bring your loved ones before God, bring your children before God, because I believe that many are gonna experience a yoke breaking anointing tonight. Well, I sense that presence already. So why don't you just position your hearts and get ready. And as we always have, I'm so glad when they're here, David and Nicole Binion are right behind us. My good Lord, so thankful for you. They've got that anointing on demand. It just, the moment they open up their voices, the glory of God begins to sweep into the room. This is your time, your season and moment. Don't you miss it. Let everybody know, gather together. The glory is about to fall. Let's go now to the Binions and let's worship the Lord. Yeah. 
so one day then thousands without you or oh, I trade a thousand for one day beside you And that is the cry of your heart to see the living God. God is going to answer that prayer tonight. As we're here in this, this television studio, I can sense the presence of the Holy Spirit. And I know that whenever God is in the house, the limits come off. So I want to start tonight during this time together. I want you to lock in with me. Spend some time with me right here because I know the anointing of the Holy Spirit is going to touch you and your family. There's going to be an overflow that happens tonight. So, Father, I thank you for your presence that's in this house. And I thank you, Lord, that every single viewer that's watching tonight, Lord, I pray that your presence would fill their home, would fill their house tonight. And, Lord, I even pray that miracles would flow tonight. I pray that your glory would so fill and revive and touch and renew every single person tonight in Jesus' mighty name. And if you come into agreement with me, just say amen. 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 So tonight we're going to be talking a bit about fresh oil. I believe we're in a season of visitation. And I want to ask you a question tonight. How many are hungry for God? You know, it's not, it's not your perfection that attracts God to you. It's your hunger for him. And when you are so hungry for God, even in the midst of your own battle, even in the midst of where maybe things are going a little bit crazy around you or things are going a little bit crazy in the world, right there when you say, God, I'm hungry for you, he meets you right there. And trust me, he is able to perfect everything that concerns you tonight. I believe that tonight's going to be a night of miracles. I believe it's going to be uh, a night of impartation of the Holy Spirit into you and into your life. So the scripture that God gave me, and I want to declare this. So tonight I'm going to be sharing some prophetic thoughts. And I believe prophetic promises that, that God put on my heart as I was praying about what I was to share with you tonight. 
I don't want to just come and give you a teaching. I don't want to just come and give you another message. I want to share with you what is God speaking for you? What is God saying for you right now in this moment in your life? Psalm 23 is one of the prophetic scriptures that God has put in my heart. And it says this in Psalm 23 verse 5. It says, you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil and my cup runs over. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. So now this, this is an amazing scripture because, you know, I would take this and say, God, I will take the table of your, the table of your blessing, but I'll, I'll, I'll take it without the enemy. I'll take it without my enemies around. But you know what this is saying? Right before this scripture, it talks about though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I won't fear any evil, God, because you are with me. You're comforting me. You're guiding me right there in that place. And, and what I believe God is saying here is right in the midst of your greatest battle, right in the midst where it feels like the enemy is right there. And maybe tonight you've gone through some things, and even this year or last year or the last few years, I believe that there's been a lot of people, they have gone through different warfare, different resistance, different battles in their life. But God is saying right in the midst of the enemy standing right there, even with the enemy doing everything that he's doing, God is saying, I am going to put a banqueting table right in front of you. And then what God is saying is, and I'm going to make the enemy stand there and watch you get blessed. And there is nothing he can say or do about it. No matter how much resistance he's brought about against you, no matter what he's tried to do, maybe in your family or in your finances or in your workplace, God is saying, no, no matter what the enemy is doing, what I'm doing is greater. What I'm doing is more powerful. And right there, God's setting a banqueting table before you. I believe tonight. Tonight is the night of the banqueting table. And what's on that banqueting table? Everything, every blessing from God for your life. Healing, salvation, deliverance, freedom, provision, divine favor, open doors. Look, I believe we're in a season where God is putting so much of his divine favor on his church. Why? Because it's time to arise and shine. Church, where, where sin abounds, grace does much more abound. And where there's darkness, God says, my light's going to shine even brighter. And God is saying, this is your time. This is your time to arise and shine. Though the enemy has fought hard against you, guess what? You're still here. Come on now. You still got breath in your lungs. You still got a praise on the inside of you. And you are still here. That means the enemy has not won. And that means God is winning in your life. Why? Because he is orchestrating, okay? God is the divine orchestrator. He is the divine orchestrator. Everything the enemy has been trying to maneuver for your harm, God is saying, no, 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 no. That one is my child. They're called and they're chosen. And I'm going to turn everything around for their good. And that is exactly what God's doing in your life tonight. So he is setting a banqueting table. What do you need from God tonight? Do you need a healing in your body? Do you need a son or a daughter to come to know God and to, and to really give the heart to Jesus? Do you need a financial breakthrough in your life? Do you need some area of abundance to overflow for you tonight? It is on the banqueting table that God is setting before you. And I decree and declare over you that no demonic assignment, no person and no situation is going to be able to stop the blessing of God in your life. In fact, I want to prophesy to you tonight that the area that has been your greatest battle and warfare, and you identify that where has the resistance come against me the most that's going to be your area of greatest breakthrough greatest authority and greatest power and I'm just going to tell you tonight the enemy is going to regret the day he ever tried to mess with you why because when he's been trying to push you down God is saying I'm going to use that very thing to elevate you so tonight is a night of elevation tonight is a night where God is lifting you above the heads of your adversary where no weapon formed against you or your family is going to prosper and there's going to be a fresh oil in your life because the scripture says that he not only sets the table but he anoints my head with oil not just a little bit, but to the point where there's an overflow for my cup to run over. You know, there's a scripture in Job God gave me recently, and it talks about rivers from the rock. Job says, from the rock will flow rivers of oil. And we know that our rock is Christ Jesus. And I believe that from... From, from our cornerstone, Jesus Christ, our firm foundation and our rock, there is a river of oil. Not just a touch of oil, but I'm talking about a river of oil. 
And in the hardest places in your life, God is going to cause a river of oil to flow. Where things have been the hardest, where it's been the hardest ground, God is saying, get ready, my oil is flowing. And it's going to be a river of oil that really catches you up. Now, there is one of the things I believe God is speaking as this oil flows and as the anointing flows in a fresh way in the church. We are truly, church, in a season of visitation. And God is saying, prepare a place in your heart for me to dwell because my oil, my anointing, my glory is going to increase exponentially. I believe tonight's going to be a night of divine multiplication where you're not just going to get a little oil or a little anointing, but it's going to be oil and anointing that just multiplies and it overflows to the point where you become a walking breakthrough. I really believe this. God wants to make you dangerous. And what do I mean by that? I mean you're like Peter with the shadow where he just walked by the sick and his shadow healed the sick. Or where the glory of God came in and people were getting set free and people were getting healed. And you may say, but I'm just trying to survive my life. And you're talking about Peter's shadow healing the sick. Well, look, that's where God wants to bring you. He wants to bring you from a place of just making a buy and just surviving to really locking in and understanding the abundant life in Christ. That the anointing is not just for you, but God wants to anoint you with the oil of the Holy Spirit to the point where you then become an overflow of that oil and that anointing. Now, I really believe we're going to see some real supernatural restoration take place. And I believe, you know, in Proverbs 6, 31, I love the scripture where it says, when the thief is discovered. When he's discovered, he's got to restore seven times what he took and even empty his whole household to pay back if he has to. Okay, so what is this scripture saying? Whenever you discern in your life an area of loss or an area where it feels like the enemy in some way has tried to rob, steal, kill, or destroy, once you discern, once you discern that, you have authority. And tonight, we're going to use that authority, not just to see a restoration back to your original design, but I even believe seven times greater. You see, because when God restores us, and this is the great thing about how God moves, how he really does make the enemy regret trying to mess with you or your family, is that when God restores you, he makes you seven times better. So what does that mean? It means that if you've battled sickness, you're going to have sevenfold health. If you've battled any type of discouragement or depression, you're going to have sevenfold joy. You're going to have sevenfold peace. If something has tried to take your finances, come on now, maybe it was an an unexpected medical bill. Maybe something happened with your car where all of a sudden money went in a direction that you didn't really have extra for it to go in that direction. But God is saying, I'm going to restore sevenfold. I'm going to restore sevenfold blessing, sevenfold finance, sevenfold health, sevenfold joy, sevenfold faith, sevenfold vision. Maybe life has tried to rob your vision or your faith. Hope deferred makes the heart sick. And God is saying, no, 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 I'm not going to leave you there. I'm not going to leave you in a place of hope deferred. But I'm going to revive your faith. I'm going to give you my faith. This is what God is saying. I'm going to give you God faith. I'm going to give you my faith. And it's seven times more than even what you had before. So we are really in a season of great restoration. And I believe, guys, part of that restoration is going to be your family. God is not just bringing you out. He's bringing you and your household out. And I believe we're in a season where even families are going to be restored. And I believe it's a season of when we talk about revival or we talk about the moves of God in the earth, I believe one of the things that's going to mark this, one of the things that's going to mark the move of God that's happening is a family revival where it's going to be whole families encountering Jesus. Okay, we're in a fatherless generation right now. There's a lot of people out there, they need to know the love of the Father. They need to know the heart of their heavenly Father. And and we have a whole generation that's in confusion and all sorts of stuff because they are missing the heart of the Father. But there's something that's going to happen when God begins to move within the family, that there's going to be healing, I believe, in homes. And I believe there's going to be revival that takes place, not just in great church meetings and church services that I'm in so, so many church meetings, but I believe it's going to go even from church meetings into homes. And we're going to see children. Listen, listen, I'm prophesying right now over your children. If you have children, I believe children are, are going to come under divine visitations from the Holy Spirit. Because where darkness abounds, God's grace and power is going to much more abound. And I believe this generation is not going to be lost in darkness. This generation is not going to be lost in confusion. But this generation is going to be visited by God. 
And I believe there's going to be a beautiful consecration that takes place. I believe we're on the verge of another, I'll say it like this, Jesus people movement. Where back in, in that movement, there were so many that were swept into the church. And I believe we're going to see this. And I want you to prepare your heart for it because God wants to give his vision for what's coming. That there's going to be so much freedom that takes place. It's going to be like en masse where, where multitudes get set free from things that have held them. But I believe God wants to make this personal for you tonight. God wants to, God wants to bring freedom right into your life proximity right into your heart right into your children you know and with this mamas okay if there's a mama watching tonight okay you're a mom you have children or you have grandchildren maybe you're a grandmother watching tonight you have grown kids and you have grandkids God wants to anoint you there is an anointing coming on women in this hour and I believe just and this this is one of the scriptures God gave me in Exodus Exodus chapter 3 in verse 21, it says, And I will give this people favor and respect in the sight of the Egyptians. This is when God was bringing a nation out of bondage. And it shall be that when you go, you will not go empty-handed. And this is a promise from God for you tonight. God's not just going to bring you out of that land, but you're not coming empty-handed. It says, Every woman, okay, every woman shall solicit of her neighbor and of her that may be residing at her house jewels, articles of silver and gold and garments, which you shall put on your sons and daughters. And you shall strip the Egyptians of what belongs to you. Now look, God used the women. They went and they got the gold, they got the silver, get, they got the garments. And what did they do? They clothed the sons and the daughters. And I believe there is a mighty movement that's going to happen with women of God, where God is going to anoint you with prayer, intercession. Your voice is going to be heard in the heavenlies. And God, and because your voice, I believe it's going to be like an Esther anointing for such a time as this, where your voice is going to be heard and it's, it's, it's going to set free a whole generation of young people, even of children children and there's going to be an anointing that causes you to put the blessing of God upon the sons and the daughters so tonight if that's you and you say yes I have a son I have a daughter I have a grandson I have a granddaughter I'm believing God for their salvation for their healing for their deliverance for God to move in their life I want you to take this promise I want you to lay hold of this promise and say God let there come a divine transfer of your blessing on my sons and on my daughters. Okay, praise the Lord. Are we having a good time yet? Yes, we are. <laughs> praise the Lord. <laughs> so this, this, this turnaround, okay? I just speak the word turnaround over you tonight because God is taking valleys and he's turning them into pools of blessing. And this was another scripture God gave me in Psalm 84. It says that uh, uh, passing through the valley of weeping, they make it a place of springs. The early rain also covers it with blessing. Okay, God is going to take your valley again. He's going to take your battle. He's going to take your struggle. And he's turning it into a place of blessing, into a pool of springs. So now we were talking about, when I first started here tonight, about fresh oil. About God setting a banqueting table and God anointing our heads with fresh oil to the point of overflow. Now, some of you watching tonight, the enemy has tried to lock you in a place of fear. The enemy's tried to lock you in a place of lack. He's tried to lock you even in a poverty mindset. And I want to define this for you tonight. So when, when I say poverty mindset, you know, Jesus said, I've come to give you life and life more abundantly until what? It overflows. Again, Jesus always brings it back to the overflow. Because Jesus, his, his kingdom principle is not that we would get our healing and we would get our blessing and we would get our breakthrough, we would get our provision, but that there would be so much breakthrough that happens in us that then it becomes like a river that's released through us that overflows to other people. Even the, the abundant life that Jesus promised us, he says it's life that overflows. So when I say a poverty mindset or a poverty spirit, a fear of lack, I'm talking about a mindset that says, God, you're not strong enough. You're not powerful enough to really meet all my needs. You're not really able, God, to heal all my diseases or provide for all of my needs. And not only provide for all of my needs, but then give me extra, God, so that I can be a source of blessing for other people. 
How many watching tonight, you say, God, I don't want to just have my own needs met, but God, I want to be a source of blessing for other people. God, if there's a missionary going to another country to preach the gospel, I want to be able to support that missionary. God, if there's a children's home that's rescuing children, I want to be able to give to those kids. God, if there's a television network that is preaching the gospel all over the place, God, I want to be able to partner with that television network and sow into it so that people in their homes can see Jesus, can receive God, can be encouraged in their faith, and can come closer to God in their walk. So this is what I'm saying, that God doesn't want us to be locked with a spirit of fear. See, the enemy wants to put a spirit of fear on you so that you have a fear of lack. And what happens? Whenever there's a fear of lack that's operating, Whenever that starts to operate in our, in our hearts, what do we do? We hold on to what we have. We hold on to everything for dear life because we're afraid that there's not going to be enough. We're afraid that what's going to happen tomorrow? What's going to take place? You know, I got to hold on to everything. And there is this underlying belief system that says God is not powerful enough. God is not big enough. Now, let me just say, we serve a really big God. I mean a really big God tonight, where not only is he able to meet your needs, he's able to flow through you to help somebody else. Okay, so now there's a scripture, and this is a principle I want to sow into your heart tonight. I want, to, I want to unlock a revelation that God taught me that changed my finances. Not only changed my finances, but, but also impacted the anointing that flows through our ministry. So 2 Kings chapter 4 this is such an amazing account. In 2 Kings chapter 4, such an amazing account where uh, you see here, I'm just going to read it in verse 1. Now the wife of the son of the prophets cried to Elisha, Your servant, my husband, is dead. And you know that your servant feared the Lord. But the creditor has come to take my two sons to be his slaves. Elisha said to her, What shall I do for you? Tell me, what have you in the house? And she said, I have nothing. I have nothing. That was her first statement. I have nothing except, okay, now all of a sudden you see that there is something, but in her mind it was nothing, okay? Her perception of what she had was nothing, but she did have something. And she says, except this jar of oil, okay? I have nothing except this jar of oil. And he gives her an instruction. He says, then he said, go around and borrow vessels. Go get empty vessels from all your neighbors and not just a few. Get a lot of them. Okay, and when you come in, shut the door upon you and your sons, then pour out the oil you have into all those vessels, setting aside each one when it's full. And she kept, and she did this. So she went in, she shut the door upon herself and her sons, brought the vessels as she poured the oil. And when the vessels were all full, she said to her son, bring me another vessel. And he said to her, there is not one left. And the oil stopped multiplying but there was enough there for her to sell pay off all of her debt and God provided for her and she was able to live on the rest everyone say overflow everyone say abundant okay she didn't just pay off her debt but then she had so much extra she could live on it okay now this is the heart of God this is the heart of God but this is the principle God taught me God taught me this and I'm going to say it like this create space and God will fill it Create space and God will fill it. This happens in a lot of different ways. Okay, he said to her, go and get vessels. Go get a lot of vessels and make sure they're empty. Okay, and as long as there's an empty vessel there and you're pouring that oil, guess what's going to happen? That oil is going to keep multiplying and multiplying and increasing and increasing until there is so much provision for you that it's going to pay off your debt and there's going to be a whole lot extra for you. It's going to be no problem. So here... As she's pouring, it's multiplying. And the Lord showed me from this, Matt, as long as you create a space for me, I'm going to fill that space. So let's look at it spiritually. When you create space in your own heart, and this is important, when you create space in your soul, you create space in your spirit for the Holy Spirit, God's going to fill that space. How do you create space for God in your life? Well, you carve out time for him. Okay, you give God some time. That's creating space. Just Set some time aside when you're driving in your car or you go into your room and you shut your door and you say, Holy Spirit, you're welcome here. What are you doing? You're giving God an empty container. And whenever you bring God an empty container, he says, I'm going to fill that container. I'm going to multiply that oil and pour into it and fill it to capacity. So that means we have to keep providing God space to fill. 
Okay? That's why every day we come to him, every day we come to him in a new way, and he fills us anew and afresh for each day. Now, I believe this is not just for our private prayer life. This is not just for our private relationship with God. It's also for our churches, for our church meetings. When we gather together, we say, Holy Spirit, you're welcome here. When we gather in this studio tonight, we say, Holy Spirit, you're welcome here. Why? Because we are intentionally creating a space for God to then pour into and fill. Okay? So I've learned this when I'm moving with the Holy Spirit. Create space for Him. Create space. Because we could have everything so structured that we, we, we don't have any space for God to move in that, in, in, within that. So I learned to press pause. I learned to breathe. <laughs> okay? Sometimes you just got to press pause and breathe. You just got to say, okay, God. I'm going to create some space here. Move in this space, God. Okay? This happens in our church meetings. When we say, Holy Spirit, you're welcome here. I take my hands off, and then Holy Spirit starts to move. And, and what happens? Miracles start to happen. People start to get set free. I was just a few days ago in a meeting. I was weeping under the presence of God as someone right in front of me. Her eye had gone blind from glycoma. And as she was there, one of my friends was, was on the platform praying and just worshiping. And all of a sudden, this lady comes up and she starts crying and she's screaming. She's like, my eye, I can see, I can see, Lord, I can see. And she's just like screaming out that she can see. And she was blind in one eye from glycoma. And God opened up her eye right in the middle of worship. That blind eye opened. It happened right in front of me. And then another guy comes running up from, from the side and he's like, you know, I had so much pain from, from, from a herniated disc in my back. He said it was so excruciatingly painful I could hardly walk. And he's running, doing laps around the building, totally healed by God. Now look, this is the God we serve. Where doctors say, no, you got to have that cage put in your back. God's like, nope, I'm going to heal that herniated disc. You know, where, where man says, oh, that eye is blind, that's it, you lost it. God's like, no, I'm the God who recreates what man says is gone. I recreate it and make it brand new. This is what God does, whether it's in your body, whether it is in your soul, whether it's in your emotions, whether it's in your mind. God is able to recreate things in your life and make you brand new. And new spirit, soul, body, and mind. Amen. So this is the abundant mindset and heart and faith God wants us to have. Yes. Okay, so we create space for God, and what does he do? He fills it. I also believe this is true for our finances. God taught me this about my finances. You know, we can, and, I, and, and what I'm sharing with you, God has brought me through, and God has brought me from, where it's like, God, I really need provision right here, so I'm going to hold on to everything I have right there so that it's provided for. And then God is saying, Matt, I'm bigger than that. I'm able, I'm, I want to give you even more. I want, to, I want to pour even more in. So I want you to redirect these funds over in this direction, and I want you to begin to sow. I want you to begin to move and, and go in this direction. But God, what about this over here? Well, you know what I realized? When I create space, God fills it. How big is your God? Because I know God is big. And I realize, God, even in my financial structure, because of a fear of lack, I may want to hold on to something over here. And then God is speaking to me. Matt, I want you to sow over here. Matt, I want you to direct the finances to go into this outreach over here, to do this for me over here. But if I'm operating in fear, I'm going to hold back. And what's going to happen is the river is not going to flow where God wants it to flow. And I'm just going to kind of stagnate and stay right there. But I realized something, guys. When I began to create containers for God, in other words, I didn't, I, I believe that God was bigger, that he could not only give me provision to meet this need over here, but then as I poured over here, God filled this empty container again. Come on now. So I believe that tonight, God is going to speak to people. This television network, this ministry is releasing. Um, you heard the worship tonight. You've seen the programming on this, on this network that is touching so many. The word is going forth. The anointing is going forth. God's presence is going forth. And we have the ability tonight to create a container. And when God says, create that container, gather those empty vessels for me, and I'm going to pour in and I'm going to fill it, and you're going to see the oil multiply, I believe there's no greater way even to see breakthrough accelerated in our life than when we step out to see someone else get a breakthrough. Now, God taught me this. God taught me this in Isaiah 58. 
And, and this is another principle because it goes along with creating space for God. In Isaiah 58, it talks about fasting. Now, I know everyone tonight is going to be like, yeah, I love fasting. <laughs> Woohoo! No, I know. <laughs> You're probably saying, no, man, please don't talk about fasting. But I'm going to say this about fasting. Fasting is not just not eating. Okay, when, when the scripture talks about fasting, it goes on to talk about take your bread and feed the hungry with your bread. Or if you see someone in need that needs clothing, you know, take some of your clothes and help clothe that individual. And there's a promise with that idea of fasting, which is basically I'm going to give of what God has blessed me with to help someone else in need. And with the promise directly connected to that, God says, I'm going to cause your darkness to become like the noonday. I'm going to, I'm going to even accelerate your healing, God says in that scripture. That is amazing, God. You mean when I step out to help someone else, God, you're going to accelerate my breakthrough? You're going to cause my healing to accelerate? You're going to because my my area of darkness, God, to become like the noonday, that's exactly right. Who ever thought that by simply giving what God has given to you, it accelerates your own breakthrough? I'll never forget this. I remember a woman shared with me her testimony once how God led her to uh, support a child in another country who was being rescued out of trafficking. And she had been abused. This woman had been abused as a child herself. And she said to me, Matt, when I made a decision to help one of these children, I had no idea what was going to take place in my life. She said, when I committed to God to help a child because, because of what I went through in my own life, no one ever knew that I was abused as a child. She said, but when I told God in my heart, I'm going to help one of these children, she said, God reached into my heart and pulled out the trauma of the abuse that I had as a child and I was totally healed and set free. And I wasn't even expecting that to happen. And when she shared this story with me, I thought to myself, that's Isaiah 58, where she stepped out to help someone else and her healing sprung forth speedily. Her healing accelerated in its manifestation. So I believe tonight, we're gonna create containers, okay? And I believe God is calling people. I know God is speaking to you right now. And I believe that there are going to be at least 100 people who watch this. You're going to be one of those 100 people that say, God, I'm making a decision tonight. I am not going to be motivated by fear. I am not going to live with a spirit of lack. I'm not going to see the blessing of God confined and constricted and constrained because I'm operating from a spirit of fear, just holding on to dear life. But God, I'm going to trust you that you do give seed to the sower. That, Father, that when I create a container, you're going to fill that container. Now, some of you tonight, God's going to speak to you. He's going to say, take the money that you spend on extra coffee every week, and I want you to redirect that money. Don't be afraid that you're not going to have coffee money, because when you redirect that money into the gospel and into the kingdom, God is saying, now that's an empty container. Now watch my blessing increase on you and watch that container get filled up all over again. Because that's exactly how it happens. You're holding on to this thing saying, God, I need my coffin money. And God is saying, no, take that money, $50 a month, and sow it into Cornerstone. And then as you create an empty container, I'm going to fill it. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to make a decision tonight. If this ministry has blessed you in any way, if you have ever received from a preaching or a message broadcast on this television network. So many times we love to receive. We love to just hear the word. We love to worship. We love to be in the presence of God. And we receive, we receive, we receive. And I believe it is an honoring thing. I believe there's a spirit of honor that when we give back to what has blessed us, again, you're just creating another container. And as you create that empty vessel, God is saying, okay, now watch my multiplication take place. Now, for some of you, it's going to be a redirection of some of those finances to partner. Some of you, you know you already have some extra. That $50 a month, yeah, I can do that. No problem. I believe God is speaking to 100 people. I want you to go to your phone right now. Sometimes delay, we miss it. Because in the moment, God speaks to us. We feel, a, we feel a prompting, we feel a stirring, we feel an urging. We say, God, I think you're talking to me. I feel like, yeah, this might be me. But then there's, there's a little bit of hesitancy. Oh, I don't know, I don't know. Create a container for God tonight. Call the number on your screen, 888-665-4483. Call the number right now. Don't delay. 
just step right up and say, God, tonight is the night that I'm going to create a container. We're going to pray in just a minute for you guys. But tonight is the night, God, where I'm going to create a container for you to fill. Lord, I'm believing for fresh oil in my life. I'm believing for my children. For some of you tonight, you need to sow for your kids. You need to sow on behalf. You see, let faith wrap around your seed. Let faith wrap around your giving tonight. Because I really believe God honors faith. We never buy anything from God. Partnership with God is never buying from Him. It's working with Him. It's moving with Him. And we say, God, I am going to sow $50 a month into Cornerstone TV. And Father, I'm believing that just as you led Israel out of Egyptian bondage and you anointed the women to take the gold and the silver and the garments and clothe the sons and daughters. God, I'm believing for my children. I'm believing for my grandchildren. I'm believing that generational curses are broken yes, off of my yes. bloodline and they're being replaced with generational blessing. I really believe that tonight, guys, that even as you sow finances, this is representative of even the gold and the silver and the blessing that, that God blessed the Israelites with that even came through the women upon the sons and daughters, that even as you honor God with your finances, even as you sow and you align your heart in faith, I want you to sow on purpose. I want you to create that space for God to fill within your own heart, within your family, and say, God, I am believing within my heart that this is my faith aligning with you, Lord, that I'm sowing, Father God, and I want to see generational blessing come down my bloodline. I want to see every generational curse stop in the name of Jesus. I want to see every inherited weakness, I'll call it that, every inherited weakness that's coming down my family line, God. I want to see those things broken in Jesus' name. I want to see my children free, my grandchildren free. I don't want the negative stuff to keep repeating over and over and over again. Lord, we want the inherited blessing to be passed down. So tonight, we are going to on purpose so into this. And I believe God is speaking. There is someone watching right now. There is someone. Guys, there was one time I was in a church and the Lord spoke to my heart and he stretched me way beyond my capacity at that moment. But I'm going to tell you what happened when I stretched even the capacity of the container that I had. God spoke to me once and said, man, I want you to sow into this ministry. And it was thousands. Okay, it was thousands. And I remember when I heard it or I felt it inside, I was like, oh, no, 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 I don't think I could do that. And I kept sensing it on the inside. You see, as God speaks to you tonight, as God moves on you tonight, you're going to know it's going to rise up from on the inside of your heart, and you're going to know, God, you're calling me to partner with Cornerstone. God, you're calling me to sow right now into this ministry, into this ministry. And you know what? I obeyed God, and I sowed that seed that day. I'm going to tell you what happened. Five days later, I was walking along. Someone comes up to me, tears coming down their face. Matt, God spoke to me, I have to, I have to give this to you, I have to sow this to you. And I opened it up, it was a check in their hand that they had given me. And it was for thousands. Our ministry had never received a donation like this. But it was right after I took what was in my hand within our ministry. And I said, okay, God, it's yours. And I'm, and I'm sowing it, I'm giving, I'm directing it where you want it to go. But something opened up when I did that. Some restriction that was even on the provision that came into our ministry was broken. And suddenly God was speaking to other people to sow into our ministry. And I believe the same is going to be true for you. That you say, God, you have put something in my hands. And I honor, with it. I honor you with it, God. And I know this is not mine, but this is yours, God. And as you give to God what's in your hand, he's going to give to you what's in his hand. And what's in his hand is way better than what's in your hand way better than what's in your hand. So Father, tonight we're going to create those spaces for you. We're going to create those containers. And I believe there's someone watching. God is speaking to you to sow like, like God spoke to me that day. And you're going to sow a $5,000 seed. A $5,000 seed. And you're saying, God, I am breaking the back of the enemy. Father, I'm breaking the back of a poverty lack mentality and I'm going to sow and I believe God for your abundant life to flow in every area. Every area. So I believe tonight there's a hundred people and I'm calling in the spirit a hundred viewers tonight to say I can give $50 a month and to say yep I'm making that step right now. So just go to the phone right now. We're going to pray. Okay. We're going to pray and as we pray and as the anointing moves just receive what God has for you. Father, I thank you tonight for your presence. I thank you, Holy Spirit, that you are moving in this place. 
And I ask you tonight, Father, in Jesus' name, to move by your anointing. And Lord, right now, I, I just sense his glory flowing right now. I sense his glory, and I pray right now, Father, in the name of Jesus, that your presence would flow, and I decree household revival. I decree in Jesus' name household deliverance, deliverance of sons and daughters right now. I thank you, Father, even for deliverance from infirmity and sickness. Right now, in the name of Jesus, the Lord, the Lord spoke to me tonight that he is breaking cancer off of people tonight. He's breaking cancer. God specifically spoke to me to rebuke cancer. So right now, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke cancer out of your body. I command cancer to loose you and to let you go. And there's someone watching right now. You know someone. You know someone that has cancer right now. I want you to take this prayer and send it and say, God, on behalf of this one, I am standing in the gap for them, Father, and I'm sending this healing over in that direction in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you right now. Cancer is going. Cancer is dissolving. In the name of Jesus. Okay, David just called in cancer in ear surgery tomorrow. So, Lord, right now, we thank you for David. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, I thank you that cancer is leaving his body right now. In the name of Jesus. And, Father, we declare that there is that healing. Rheumatoid, rheumatoid arthritis is being healed right now. Okay, there's a very, you're very special to God. I, I, you're, you are so special to God's heart. And he's saying, no, 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 no. It's not my will that you're in that chronic pain. So right now, room, that rheumatoid, Jesus is healing that rheumatoid arthritis right now. He's saying, no, nope, you're my child. I love you. And his love right now is pouring over you. His love is pouring over you tonight. And he is healing. He is healing that rheumatoid arthritis, that chronic pain in your body, even in your joints. Oh, it's been so painful. It's been so painful. But right now, there's healing flowing to you. There's healing flowing to you. Right now, in Jesus' name. You know, I just felt this. If you are actively believing for a son, daughter, or a grandchild to come under the divine influence of the Holy Spirit, I want you to call that number right now. Call the number right now. And someone is going to pray with you and agree with you. And even as you pray and agree on the phone, for that, there, I believe there really is going to be a family revival that hits your home. But also, with that prayer, become a $50 a month partner or whatever you can do in your heart. But I believe God is calling folks for $50 a month. Father, I just thank you right do now. It, Lord. I do thank it. you right now in the name of Jesus, that your mighty anointing. We love you right now, Jesus. We love you right now. Father, I thank you. I see the Lord touching someone's uh, abdomen area. There's a healing taking place. You, you've suffered even in your digestion. You've, you've suffered tremendously in your stomach. And Lord, I thank you. There's even ulcers being healed right now. There's acid reflux being healed right now. Yep, his healing anointing is flowing through your body. That pain is leaving you. There's someone you've had so much, you've had chronic insomnia. And that insomnia is leaving you right now. It's connected to anxiety and fear. And that anxiety leaves you right now in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you that you're delivering that one from anxiety in the name of Jesus. No more anxiety. Peace is coming upon you. Come on. Peace is coming upon you right now in the name of Jesus. Name. Father, I thank you. I thank you for a yoke-breaking anointing tonight. I thank you for a yoke-breaking anointing. I believe right now you're watching from your home. Lift your hands right where you are in your home because the, the anointing is going to start to flow right over your body. He's moving right through that screen to you right now. In Shut fact, up. I stretch my hands towards you. I stretch my hands towards Shut you. And right now, in the name of Jesus, that anointing is flowing through you from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. Father, I thank you. You pour out fresh oil. You've been, oh, there's someone watching. You have, you have told God, even today, I'm so tired. I, I hear the words. God, I'm so tired. I feel so worn inside. And God is saying, nope. Nope, I'm renewing you right now in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you for fresh oil over that person watching tonight, that you are renewing them and reviving them, and you're making them new on the inside 
in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now, I want you to pick up the phone. I want you to call in right now. If you feel the presence of God touching you, we got prayer warriors that are going to pray with you right now. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for it. When you called out, there's already like anxiety, all the things oh, that you're Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, people are calling in right now. And even as I'm moving in the spirit, people are calling on the phones, stress, anxiety, different health issues. God is moving. We got lots of different um, prayer requests and things coming in here right now. Lord Jesus, we just thank. Okay, we're going to pray, Father, over. We're going to pray over back because I know there's people that suffer with chronic back pain. And, and in the name of Jesus, that, that back pain's got to go. I'm, I'm talking over your vertebrae, your discs. Right now, in Jesus' name, even as I shared that testimony from earlier. See, the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Even as I said that testimony about the, um, about the uh, vertebrae being healed. In Jesus' name, right now, I speak over the back pain and conditions. And I say be healed in the name of Jesus. It's by His name. It's by His name, by His anointing. By the blood, the precious blood of Jesus. I command that chronic back pain to loose you right now. I command that infirmity to loose you and to let you go in the name of Jesus. Spirit of infirmity, you have no right there. You have no place there. I command you to go in the name of Jesus. Now, right now, someone's going to start to start to feel a sensation even going from your waist down yes. your legs, yes. from your back, lower back, down your legs. That's the anointing of God flowing from your back, down your legs, down your nerves. Right now, in Jesus' name, I speak a renewing and a healing right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we lay our hands over all of these prayer requests that are coming in. People, uh, someone dealing with breast cancer right now, in the name of Jesus, a kidney situation, spinal stenosis, uh, disab disabilities, all different things. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, we pray over these prayer requests. Call in your prayer requests, guys. Call them in. Get up. Go to the phone quickly because if two or more agree, it shall be done. It shall be established. So go call the number on the bottom of your screen. Submit your prayer requests. But I believe right now, guys, as the Holy Spirit is moving, Create a container for God. Step out. Step out. You'll never know what God can do until you take a step. You could sit in fear in the boat, or you could see Jesus on the water, and you could get out of your boat and start walking with Jesus on the water. Come on. Create space for God in your heart and life. Create space for God in your finances. As you sow into Cornerstone, as you become a monthly partner of $50 a month or $80 a month or sowing a one-time seed of $1,000 or $5,000, you're creating space for God to move even in your financial realm. So Holy Spirit, we just thank you for it right now in Jesus' mighty name. Let the multiplication flow, God. Let your divine multiplication flow. I believe as we just worship right now, just worship Him. Just worship Him. And allow the Holy Spirit to move within you tonight. In Jesus' name, let's worship on, together. How great is our God. Sing with me. How great is our God. And all will see.
to thee how great thou art how great thou Jenna, if you're just tuned in, you are tuning into Hope Arising, where the man of God just released the word fresh oil. There is healing moving in this house. There is deliverance moving in this house. And I sense that there is an increase that is coming into your life. The anointing for increase is coming to annihilate every yoke, to destroy the yoke, to remove the burdens in your life. It doesn't matter what you're battling with. The anointing is here. Hope is arising and fresh oil is flowing. People are calling in with their seed of $50 a month. This $50 seed is going to increase the capacity. You know, I was sensing as he was preaching the scripture that says, in that day, the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. You're going to get so fat with this fresh oil that yokes are being destroyed even right now. Depression is being destroyed right now. Marriages are being healed right now. No matter what it is that you need, all you have to do is simply take a step of faith. Would you pick up that phone right now, 888-665-4483. And listen, as you call in, we are going to anoint every request with oil because there's fresh oil flowing. Yeah. He preached from Psalm 23 and he yes. mentioned at the table, you shall anoint my head with oil. And then what happens? My cup yep. overflows. I hope that you're ready for overflow because overflow is hitting your home right now. Pick up that phone, 888-665-4483. Like Judy that called in, sowing $50 a month, believing God for supernatural breakthrough in her life. What are you waiting for? We're going to anoint this right now in the name of Jesus. And every one of you that call in, we are going to anoint this. And at the end of this broadcast, we're going to ask the man of God to pray over these requests and we are going to see the oil release. Pastor Gary, there is such an anointing flowing. Anything can happen when the oil begins to flow oh, yes. oh, and it's yes. happening right now. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. You need to call. You need to call. Get in on this anointing. Yes. 888-665-4483. James from Syracuse, New York. $50 a month is sowing and getting in. Would you say move out and make room for yeah. God to fill that space, right? Exactly. You got to you got to open up and create Keep that space faith. and God will fill it. And I tell you, we this is this is a harvest season and yeah. I believe in the anointing oil. I believe in laying hands and praying. Come on. We got we got pledges, we got we got monthly seeds that are coming in here. Get on the phone exactly Get on the phone and we, before this broadcast ends, yes. we're going to physically Come anoint on. these with oil. Yes, and I God. believe God's breaking debt. I believe Lord God Rabbi is breaking Shata. lack. Come on. I believe God Lord is Rabbi breaking Shata. financial strain off of you. I believe you're going to see new sources of provision flow. And I, in fact, I believe tonight that God is even going to give creative ideas to Come people. On. And as Holy Spirit speaks to you, you're going to make one adjustment and suddenly phew, the doors are going to open and something, something is going to start to flow there, even for financial 
financial provision in your life. There's even new businesses that yeah. God's, yeah. God's going to yeah. give you. There's yeah. creative ideas God is going to give you. So provision is going to flow in several different ways. But I really believe tonight that, that, that the Holy Spirit says it is harvest season. Mm. That what you have sown, it is harvest time now. Yeah. Now. So I agree. Let's get the pledges yes, in. Let's get the calls in now. And we're going to anoint this tonight. 888-665-4483. There is someone, I believe it's a businessman or woman, you could sow a $5,000 seed. There's others of you, you could sow $84 a month or $1,000. You could put it on your credit or debit card. And Pastor Amy, there's yeah. so many. He, Matt asked for 100 people to sow $50, $50 a month. And you both brought up businessmen and businesswomen. And I just heard a story this past week that kind of shook me. The former CEO of Burberry transformed the whole company and organization by listening to a preacher on Christian television yeah. talking about yep. the power of giving yeah. back. So she said, we here at Burberry, we're going to change some things. And because we have been given much, we are going to give back. Do you know that they started giving back to people, to the community, and that company exploded. So I'm saying there is a principle. And listen, the world got the principle. What about the Christians and the believers Come on. and the Christian businesses and the faith businesses to get this message? I mean, it's a real thing. You plant a seed, you get a harvest. You sow and you give into a faithful harvesting Christian ministry. We just took time. We spent about an hour ministering yeah, yeah. to the Lord and ministering to his people. Like this is what we do. We're not playing games here. It is very real. The presence of God is very Come tangible on. Come on. and the presence of God can go right straight to where you are right now and where you're watching and the power of God can show up. So we're asking you to call us right now. We're taking this this week. We're taking this time. Give us a call at 888-665-4483 and give your best gift of $50 a month. I tell you what, God has great things in store yes, for you. Yes, he does. And Matt, there's, there's people, it's like they've been in a dry season and they need some fresh yeah. oil. Yeah. There's some other folks like, like they've just been going and going and going. They need their oil changed. Yeah. Yeah, like you got to get your oil changed yeah. in the car. You, you need to get some fresh oil in your car, oh, yeah. in your tank, so you can keep going oh, for the Lord. And, and you know, if you don't, if you don't get that oil changed, that that engine's not going to work come right. On, in fact, it may on. break down. You That's may, right. you you can lose a for Lamborghini now. just by not changing the oil. So. People, yeah, we need, if we need to change the oil of a car, we need to, we need to get our oil fresh from the Holy Spirit in our life, 100%. Oh, be crusty with giving, crusty with oh, yeah. generosity, yep. crusty just like, well, God's blessed me, so I think I'll just keep yep. it all for myself, keep it for my kids, my family, my, and you know what? Yeah. It's not that way. We don't want to be crushed. We want fresh oil. And, and Matt, with, 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 with all they're hearing in the world, in the secular, with the recession and inflation, there are a lot of people that are fearful to give. They, they're really, it's like the elephant in the room, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, but you know what? I believe that even during times of great shaking, that God is going to show himself as the God of breakthrough and the God of unstoppable blessing and provision. And I believe that there's, there's gonna be a blessing on Christians that even though the world goes through shaking, we gotta realize that our source is higher, that our source is higher and God is gonna hold his people. I believe even prosper them during difficult times. Right. Yeah, that's right. Isaac sowed in a land of famine. You take that yeah. word famine out, you could put recession in there, inflation in there. And the Bible says, Pastor Jay, in the same year, yeah. In the same year, God blessed him 100 fold. Because when he sowed, the wells begin to come up, the oil begin to flow, and that's what's gonna happen for you even as you sow. Give that gift. Call right now, 888-665-4483, and believe God for a supernatural breakthrough in your life. While you go to your phone, we're gonna go over to Tom at our giving level board. Oh man, it's a great time. It's a great time. We've heard a great message. You know, as you have been blessed, 
bless others, God is going to bless you again. It's going to be a reciprocal thing. You're going to keep getting blessed and blessing others. And we have many different levels that we're suggesting that you do whatever you can, whatever God is telling you to do. We're asking for a, one person out there to give it the $5,000 level, two people to give it the $2,000 level, then $84 a month. You know what? I've got one. I've got one right here. Wilbert from Verona giving $84 a month. Thank you so much, Wilbur. God bless you. And we've got $50 a month. You heard uh, Matt talking about that. And also $20 a month. You can get in at that level as well. This is something that you need to be involved in. You need to be involved in the work of God here at Cornerstone. Don't sit on the sidelines any longer. Get in the game. You know what? We've got someone at the $20 a month. Gail from Bethel Park. Praise God. Thank you so much. Listen, I want to speak to you who have never given to Cornerstone. I want to put your check mark on here. I want to say this is a new partner, a new member of our family that's doing a great thing, ministering for the people of God, to the people of God. Let's see what we've got here. We've got Jeff from Syracuse, New York, a $50 a month. Praise God. Thank you, Jeff. And let's see. Praise God. So if you are one of those ones that you've watched us for years and you've been blessed, or maybe you're a new viewer and you say, boy, I've really been enjoying all the programs that are on Cornerstone. Well, call right now and, and get in to that support team, the people that are saying yes. I love the Lord, I want to bless others, and I want to be blessed. If you will do that, then you will begin to see amazing things in your life. And you'll be knowing that you're helping the gospel to go out and touching lives all over. So why don't you do that? I'm going to be over here at the board celebrating. So while you do that, let's go over to Pastor Gary. All right, folks, the number is there, 888-665-4. Listen, I am here I'm here right now. Listen, the Spirit of God is absolutely moving right behind me. The prayer team, they are praying for people. You are calling in. They are meeting needs. They are talking to you, and it's direct. Listen, Mary Ferguson just called in to give a one-time amount of a $100 gift to this movement of God. Listen, I just want to share something with you that God has really had on my heart. It says in Matthew chapter 6, verse 24, it says, No one, this is Jesus talking, this is the red letters, no one can serve two masters, for you will either hate one and love the other. You'll be devoted to the one or despise the other. You cannot serve God and be enslaved to money. And also the King James Version says, Mammon, let me tell you something that giving is also an extension of worship with God. It's an extension of our relationship with God because Jesus knows, and he said this, how powerful mammon is on grabbing your heart about, about being totally consumed by it. It affects your mental health. It affects if you're dealing with bills and deadlines and shut off notices and things in your mind. That's the enemy trying to tell you that God is not your provider, but he is. He is Jehovah Jireh, your provider. And so what giving does is it breaks the back of that stronghold of the enemy uh, over, who uses finances to manipulate you emotionally. And it gives you a sense of peace because it is making a transaction and a transition with God to say, Father, I am going to be obedient. I am going to give give. I am going to break this thing off of my life. That's why we tithe. That's why we give to the Lord so that we don't let that money entangle and contaminate our heart with darkness. Now there's different levels that you can do. You can pledge a monthly level of $20 a month. That is beautiful. $20 a month or you could do 50 or you can even do $84 a month. But if God is really moving on your heart, you need to be obedient because what is happening is a kingdom movement that God is trying to see who he can trust. If you can't be faithful over the little, God will not allow you to be a ruler over much. So he usually uses money as a test to see where your heart is. It's a heart thing. It's not that, it's not that God said, oh, you know, I ain't got it. <laughs> God ain't, ain't worried about that at all. It's for us to get that thing up off of our heart that is causing us to be consumed. And it'll help you to be in a right relationship with God because more than anything, he doesn't want anything standing between our relationship with him. He wants us to be stronger in him. He wants our, our, our time with him to be invested. Some people tithe their money. People also tithe their time. 10% of 24 hours a day is two hours and 40 minutes in God's presence. Imagine how powerful your life would be spending two hours and 40 minutes a 
day with God. So God is bringing you to a new place and transitioning your heart, your mind, and your focus on him. So in partnering and giving, it is an extension of our love with God and our relationship with God and the many and powerful things that he's doing. Listen, call in right now. The number is on the screen, 888-665-4483, or you can go to ctvn.org and you can give. If you want prayer, call in right now. The prayer partners are standing right behind me and they will give, they will give their time and pray with you and connect with you on what God is doing for you. I'm excited to see what God is getting ready to do. Uh, and, and, and let's go to music. Let's get some worship in. And here are the Binions again with some worship. God bless you. Faith rise up, faith rise up. Something scandalous happened to me. I was a criminal, but your blood.
has been healed. So come and witness for yourself his love is revealed. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, we've got some exciting news. Yes, we do. We've got a number of our partners that are presenting us, listen to this, with an unlimited challenge. That's right. We're going to put a 30-minute clock up. And for the next 30 minutes, every dollar you give is going to double the impact. This is a great time that if you could sow that $5,000 gift, it's going to be doubled with its impact. Matt has challenged a hundred folks to sow $50 a month. We need several of you to sow a $2,000 seed. That will be doubled. So we're going to pray. We are going to start a 30 minute clock. It's only 30 minutes, so you need to sense the urgency. This is not a time to sit back. This is not a time to hold. This is a time to go to the phone, put legs on your faith, feet on your faith, because everybody can do something during a challenge. You could do a one time gift or a monthly gift. So let's pray. Lord, anoint this challenge in the strong name of Jesus. Jesus. And we started in five, four, four three, three, two, two one. one. All right, come on, go to the phone, 888-665-4483. Pastor Jay, we need everybody to call. What's great is everybody can do something and people are calling in right now. We've got Gene from Wellsburg, Virginia. Thank you so much for calling in, increasing her gift from $30 to $50. She wants that fresh oil anointing. Come on. There's many of you watching right now that maybe you sold it at a $20 level, maybe you sold it at a $30, that you need to lift your gift to that $50 level, that Jubilee seed anointing to allow that fresh oil to begin to flow. We've got Marianne from White Oak sowing a one-time gift of $1,000. Now listen, when you call in, I remember the man of God met Mentioned during this time that if you have family members that you need to see saved, write them down. We are anointing every one of these requests with oil. As you sow your seed, we're going to anoint these with oil and believe God for a supernatural breakthrough. So go right now. We are in the middle of a 30-minute double impact challenge. We need your help. Go to the phone, 888-665-4483. And while you go to your phone, we're going to go over to Tom and Amanda. Well, oh, we man, just want to say awesome. thank you because <laughs> you're calling. The phones are ringing. This is so exciting, yeah. Tom. Well, first we have Gloria from Homestead. Give it up for Homestead. She has given $1,000. All right, $1,000 a month. Thank you, Gloria. And then we have Frank from Newcastle. All right, Newcastle showing up tonight, and he too is giving a $1,000 gift. We just want to say thank you. You know, when I was thinking of Matt's message, yeah. the, the children song came to my mind. My God is so big, so strong, and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. And you know, as parents, as adults, if we really believe that, let's show our kids. Let's show. Gather with your family. Pray. God will minister to your family and then give that gift as a family to Cornerstone Television to keep us on air. We have amazing children programming. We have so That's many right. things that people are tuning into, Tom. You know, I, I hear it every day. I, you know, I, just today someone wrote in and said how much they're enjoying our programming. That's a blessing. It's a blessing if it's for the kingdom of God. It's a blessing to your family, my family, everyone. And it's an outreach into the world, bringing the gospel to people all over. Now, we've got a lot of levels here we've been talking about. Come on, some of you can get in at that entry That's level right. at $20 we need five a month. New partners. That's right. Who and are and you, you know what? We there? need nine more at the $50 a month level, the $84 a month level. That's been pretty strong tonight. Let's keep That's that going. Cute. And some of you have the means and have the will of God to give $2,000 or $5,000. Do that. And we're going to write it all on here and rejoice together. Right now, let's go over to Corey in the chapel. 
Listen, God is moving on your heart so much. See, this is the beautiful thing when you become obedient to the move of God. He begins to speak to you. He can get into you and speak to you. Listen, Virginia uh, out of Greensburg gave a gift of $1,000. Thank you so much. May God continue to just bless you and move on your heart. And Carol out of Avala, she had hers at $84 a month. God spoke to her, moved that thing to $109 a month. So God is just truly, truly moving. It's such an exciting time. Calls are going through. Prayers are being answered. God is moving in a mighty way. And listen, we're going to go ahead and kitch, kitch, uh, uh, pitch it over to Michelle Agustin. She's a Cornerstone board member with a special message for you. One of the things that happens with Cornerstone Television is that they are such a giving ministry. And I had the opportunity to be on the board when Russ and Norma were alive, so I've been a, the longest board member. One of the things that, that Russ and Norma, Norma Bixter, Russ was a proponent of giving and a proponent of tithing. He always believed in tithing, no matter what we get, no matter how little or how, how large, Russ believed that this organization should tithe. And so our giving, really has feet to it. The support we give, the things that we do, really impact families, they impact children, they impact lives. One of my favorites is Mad Dads. I don't know if you all are familiar with Mad Dads, but Mad Dads is an organization of men who patrol the streets in Pittsburgh. You know, you've heard about the violence and all of the things that go on, and so these are men who volunteer. They don't go with guns, they go with the gospel, they go with the peace of God, and they walk the streets in Homewood, in the Hill District, in East Hills, and they speak peace. And so that's one of the organizations that um, Cornerstone Television supports. You know, there have been times when we were financially strapped, but we always tied. And so in giving to others, the Lord has blessed Cornerstone Television ministry in tremendous ways. I just wanna say thank you to all of those who have given to Cornerstone Television Ministry and allow them to know you have not given in vain and the Lord will reward you. Everything the Word of God says about giving and it shall be given unto you and the peace of God and the understanding and, the, and just everything that comes with giving to the Lord comes back to us in so many different ways. Now look at what Cornerstone is doing. Not only are we broadcasting the gospel out over the airwaves, but Cornerstone is reaching local ministries. They're reaching out to the local area and beyond. And what a moment, what a time to seize. What a moment to seize to sow into this double portion anointing. Yes. The scripture that God speaks to you right now, the promise he gives you right now with this seed is Isaiah 61, 7. Instead, now listen, instead of your former shame, you will have a double portion. And instead of humiliation, your people will shout for joy Come over on. their portion. Yes. Therefore, in their land, they will possess double and everlasting joy will be theirs. You are going to shout for joy over your portion. Now, look, I preached on Psalm 23 about your head being anointed with oil. This is a moment of double portion. Double it. Psalm 23 is 46. OK, I believe even if you feel like I want to prophetically sow and align with this promise, with this double portion promise, with this fresh oil promise, sow a seed of $46 every single month. Come on, just say right now, I'm going to commit God. I'm aligning my heart. I'm aligning my faith. There's something about where your heart is, where your, where your money is, where your finances are. That's where your heart is. There's a heart connection with it. And I just believe God so loved the world he gave. And there's something that happens when we say, God, we love the world just like you love the world. We love people like you love people, God. We want to sow into ministries that are, that are moving, that are moving with you, God. And this is the moment right now. Let's seize the double portion opportunity. And we're praying over all of these pledges over all of these seeds that are being sown tonight. We are praying in agreement for a double 
portion to be your portion, your inheritance. In fact, I believe right now God is unlocking inheritance. Yeah. God is un there. There is an inheritance that's been locked up, mm. and God is saying, "No, I'm breaking that thing yes. open." And there's an inheritance that is coming to you, and Jehovah Shaka is gonna shaka you. Okay, <laughs> that's my name from God, Jehovah Shaka. I'm the Lord who shocks you. Who surprises you? There's a shock coming to you. There's an inheritance coming to you. I believe there's a spiritual inheritance, and I believe there's a natural inheritance that God is unlocking. But this is the time of the double portion. What you sow right now will be doubled. Th these are amazing moments right now, guys, to jump in on, to be like, what? What I gave is, is it's not just going to be what I gave, but it's going to be doubled. That's what I want to get in on. So come on, go to the phone right now, call that number on your screen, and let's get in on the double portion anointing that God's releasing. Come on, 888-665-4483. We've got about 21 minutes left in this matching challenge. Somebody out there, this isn't everybody can't do this, but somebody can sow a $5,000 seed. That will double your impact. We need two people to sow $2,000. That will double your impact. Some of you, $84 a month or a one-time gift of $1,000. Others of you, Matt is challenging 100 people to sow $50 a month. Pastor Amy, I know, I know in our vast audience there's 100 people that God put seed in the hand of sowers. They have that $50 to commit to that, doing that every month. Absolutely. Listen, this, um, you know, challenge time, it reminds me of the Steelers game, the fourth quarter. You know how frustrating it is when the Steelers wait to the end of the game to play full bore. Well, this is our moment. Man, the, the, the pressure's on. The time is now. It, there's a challenge. It's a matching challenge. And he's talking about double portion and getting back double for your trouble, which that that version is amazing in the message. So good. But listen, I mean, when you give, you make double impact. So, I mean, if you're going to... So $2,000, it's going to have double the impact. And I like a deal. I like a sale. To me, it feels like this is a good deal. This is, this is like, talk about giving the devil a double black eye. This is exactly Come what on. you're doing. It's like, boom, boom. I mean, you're just like knocking them out because we're taking over the airways with the gospel. Like th this is serious kingdom business that we're doing here. And Jay, it's making a huge difference. It really is. You know, and I believe there are several of you that have called in with a one-time gift. And I just sense this in my heart that you need to make that a monthly commitment. I don't know who that's for, but there's somebody watching right now. You said, man, this is a big stretch for me. But as you do it, God is un going to uncap a well of that fresh oil in your life. And if you will make a monthly commitment. See, God is not looking for someone that he can give to. He's looking for someone that he can give through. And if you will sow on a monthly basis, you are going to begin to see supernatural increase. God is about to enlarge your capacity. The man of God even shared, said, go get a bunch of empty vessels. God is ready to enlarge your capacity with fresh oil. But you've got to sow. You can't sow where you're comfortable. You've got to get outside of where you are. I want everyone right now to pray and say, Lord, stretch me in this moment. Because God wants you to enlarge your capacity that he can fill you with a greater volume because he's about to elevate you, that he can pour into you so he can pour through you and out of you, that you can have the blessing of Abraham upon your life. It's not about you, but it's about the people that God is about to send to you. So go to your phone right now, 888-665-4483. Come on, during this double impact challenge, there's 18 minutes left, Pastor Gary. Yes, yes. And Matt, you were talking about family revival. Talk about that for a minute. Prophesy to families for a moment. Yeah, I believe that God's not leaving anyone behind. God's not just going to bring you out. Come He's on. bringing out your husband. Come on. Come He's bringing, there, there's wives watching right now. You're believing for your husband. Mm. There's husbands believing for your wife. And you're believing for your children too. God is going to touch your whole family. And you know, sometimes when, when, when something like this is happening, you may be like the widow woman that looks in her home and says, I have nothing. They're asking for something, I have nothing. And that's exactly what the widow said. She says, I have nothing except, and then she realized, oh, this little jar of oil, it, it seems so insignificant, it seems like nothing. But stop and think for a second. 
And, and we all have to do this. How often a day do we go and grab a cup of coffee and pay for it, pay five bucks for a cup of coffee? No problem, right there. I mean, that is something we do it even without thinking. And we say, well, I don't really have anything to give, but actually we really do have something to give. And I wanna encourage you tonight, step out of the place of limitation you've been in. Say, God, you are so big that if I bless Cornerstone Television, Father, you're gonna bless me. Because God, you put something in my hand, I'm gonna release it in obedience to you. And I'm telling you, what God has in his hand is way better than what's in your hand. God will always multiply the seed that you sow. And I'm praying tonight, we're gonna pray under this anointing for a double portion, double portion. of the seed that you sow. Yes. That it is God. doubled. Yes. Not yes. just yes. from a matching donor, but I'm talking about your breakthrough doubled. Yeah. I'm talking about your provision doubled. I'm talking about God's hand on your family doubled. I'm talking about God's on. presence on your home doubled. How many want peace in your home? You want joy in your home? Maybe right now your home's filled with fighting or maybe your home's filled with turmoil. Your home is not that peaceful place. But God is saying, no, no, no. I want that place to be my resting place. Yes. I want your home yes. to be my yes. resting place. Put God first. Make God number one. Invite him in, create space, and watch him fill it. Amen. Watch him fill it. 15 minutes left in this challenge. Come on, sense the urgency. Go to the phone, 888-665-4483, or go to ctvn.org. Tom, there's some boxes that still have to be checked. I believe there's some people watching that are assigned to check those boxes. Absolutely, Pastor Gary. We have got a lot going on here and we want more to go on. We have got people coming in at the $20 level, Amanda, the $50 level, the $84 level. Now watch this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw a little bit. I hope Larry will follow all this. So uh, some people, you know, we give it a $20 level and that's great, but like Pastor Jay said, sometimes God challenges us to go somewhere else, right? Right, Amanda? That's right. He challenges us to go a little bit more. Maybe you wanna move up to that $50 level. Maybe you're at 50 and you say, you know what, God's blessed me. I can move up to that $84 a month level, or who knows where we might go from there, okay? God is in the, in the process of getting us to where we freely give, and then he'll, he'll return back to us that we can freely give more. That's it's awesome. Right. So be one of these people. Call in and say, hey, I'm going to increase from 50 to 84. God is going to be pleased to see that you're investing in the kingdom and in the kingdom of God here at Cornerstone. Amen. Have you ever needed a lifeline? I look at Cornerstone Television as a lifeline. You know, you're up on the, the stage and you have a question and, and you don't know the answer. Well, we have that prayer line that is 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And it has literally been a lifeline for thousands of people for the last 44 years. That is amazing. And, and these boxes that are not checked, what does that mean? That means we need you. We need you to help us keep Cornerstone going on because we desire to be used as God's conduit to be that lifeline, to continue in the ways that he birthed the vision in Russ and Norma. We're not here doing this out of vain glory for any of one of us. We desire for God to see people and for people to know that he sees them. We are there, his voice to them. And by you calling us, being a part of Cornerstone Television, you get to be a part of that people bringing, you know, together with God. It's an amazing thing that we get to be a part of. It's amazing that we can all partner together to see the kingdom of God blessed, to see people come to the Lord, to see the word of God That's preached, right. to see people established. You know what I'm going to do? So many people have called in and said they want to be part of $84 a month. Well, we're going to add some more boxes on here. I got my blue, uh, blue magic marker out here, Amanda. We'll add some more boxes and we're just going to believe. And you know what? I got more white space to add more boxes as people call in. So why don't you do that? Right now, we're gonna get a report from what's going on over in the chapel. Thanks, Tom. You know, as you're adding more boxes on the charts, the phone started ringing. So super exciting. So make sure you give us a call at 888-665-4483. We're in this challenge right now. Every dollar helps us to advance the gospel. And I'm here with my dear friend, Corey. And Corey, you know, God dropped something in your heart and your word about the power of the airways and how we have to overtake them as a kingdom. Yes. 
please understand this, that this is truly spiritual warfare. And when you have a network like this that is operating in the airwaves, there is a battle in the airwaves. Listen, Ephesians chapter 2, um, verse uh, 1, it says, and, 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 and you have been quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins. And 2, it says, wherein in times past ye walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that is now working in the children of disobedience. Satan often calls himself the prince of the power of the air, meaning he wants to rule the airwaves. So a network like this is that voice, that answer, that filters what God is saying to be able to send an answer to the people of the world because the enemy is trying to suffocate that light and that information. Even in the book of Daniel, when he prayed to God, his prayer was so powerful that his answer went under attack by principalities, which are demons that rose up over different countries so your gift allows the operation of this kingdom network to continue to get messages and answers to be able to have the calls readily available because that's what the enemy's trying to do he's trying to extinguish God's voice but with your giving together you are helping to equip the kingdom with the resources to continue to reach the world and we have a question for you just think about this you know right now you're able to turn on cornerstone you're able to tune in listen but what about our generation what if we go out what about your sons and your daughters that won't have an opportunity to hear the gospel, that won't be able to be fed and equipped with the word of God? We know there is such a battle coming against our generations. We represent millennials. We know that there's Gen Z and then we have the alpha generation. We need your support like never before so we can continue to do the good work that we do at Cornerstone. You know, we here at Cornerstone, there's a team of people that have integrity. They work with honor. And more importantly, we love you. Every program that we do, we have you in mind. And so when you give to Cornerstone, you are helping us to have the kingdom to advance. And even one thing you may not know, but we are expanding in so many different ways. You know, not only just through television, but on YouTube. We have over 60,000 subscribers to our channel. We have over 100,000 views a month. And also on Roku, people are watching us. So we have a bigger net that's happening that we are at the Cornerstone Intelligent Network. But God is calling us to cast our net to the other side, casting our net to social media, casting our net because our generation like never before needs to hear the good news of the gospel. So will you prayerfully consider partnering with us today? We hear the phones ringing. We are prayer partners standing by. Give us a call at 888-665-4483. And as you're going to your phones, and you can also go online at ctvn.org backslash donate and millennials that are out there, Gen Z's that are out there, we need you. We can all do something. We are going to go over to the Binions and go to worship. So thank you so much for partnering with Cornerstone. We love you. And let's now go over to to the Binions. We see prison cells, we see graveyards, we see broken lives and hopeless hearts but faith sees a miracle looking for a home
We're holding the keys of the kingdom. Yeah. We open the doorway of heaven. Oh. We're holding the keys of the kingdom. Yeah. We open the doorway of heaven. Said we're holding the we're keys. We're holding the keys of the kingdom. And we open. We open the doorway. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the fresh oil is flowing. I'm here with this wonderful man of God that just dropped a prof profound prophetic word and people are calling in. They are responding and we've got uh, Kathy here from Tarentum that's sewing in at $50 a month. Praise God. Thank the Lord for you. Who else do we have? That's wonderful. We got Reverend Leo from Pittsburgh with $100 a month. Fantastic. And then we also want to thank Charles. Hey, Charles, thank you. He's increasing up to 360. God bless you, Charles. Wow, wow. 360 a month. Thank you so much for your gift. And listen, when you're calling in, we were just sitting here talking. We believe this is a time that you need to mix your praying with your giving. Yes. When you call in, listen, we, you've still got time. Uh, this prophet, this wonderful man of God is going to anoint every one of these requests. We're going to pray over these and believe God for the fresh oil to begin to hit your life. Don't miss this moment. Don't miss this window of opportunity. Don't miss this divine appointment that as you put your seed in the ground, tell the prayer partner, this is what I'm believing God for. And you know, Matt, I believe that as people will mix their praying and their giving, a miracle is going to happen. Yeah, I, I'm feeling so strong right now that if two or more agree, it shall be established, it shall be done. And I feel like God is really speaking to people. You need to add action right now. You need to get up. You need to go to that phone. You need to submit the name of your family. Yes, you need, yes, to, you yes. need to submit your prayer request, your healing request. But I really feel very strong for family breakthrough. You need to submit those names and you need to sow your seed tonight. God wants you to mix both together to yes. sow prayer and to sow finances. And let, let that breakthrough just flow tonight. Let the river of oil flow tonight. Mm. In Jesus' name, God's going to honor it. I believe that. And listen, there's some grandparents that are watching right now. You're believing for your grandbabies mm -hmm. to be saved. They're out there. There's a grandma that's watching that your son is dealing drugs. And I believe that if you will call in right now, I believe God is going to work a miracle. He's going to remove the blinder and the scales from off of his eyes. And you believe that he's called to preach the gospel. I want you to call in right now, 888-665-4483. We've got a little over three minutes left of this double impact challenge. Come on, let's get in on this right now and believe God for the supernatural. There's an anointing on families. There's a, the phones are ringing right now. Listen, if you get a busy signal, keep on calling in. Keep, don't do, look at that as a delay or denial, but keep on pressing it and believe God for the supernatural in your life. You see, you got to learn something. You got to learn that when the anointing's flowing, you got to jump in on that moment. There is an open heaven here right now. There is an open heaven. And the Bible mm. says that when the heavens are open, God's going to pour a blessing you cannot contain. And this is what God is doing. He's releasing a blessing Come that on. cannot be contained. There is a realm, there is a dimension that needs to be seized in the yes, moment, a corporate yes, yes, anointing yes. that is flowing right now. I Hallelujah. want you to jump in this corporate anointing. Yes. Pick up the phone, call with your prayer request, 
with the names of your family members, with the requests that you have, whether it's financial, whether it's physical healing, whether it's a deliverance for someone in your home. I want you to sow that prayer tonight and I want you to have a seed to sow with it as well and become a recurring giver, sow monthly partner. I'm calling for 100 partners tonight. I believe that God is speaking to people right now. I'm going to call you. I'm going to ask you to partner with this anointing, with this ministry. Sow your prayer, sow your seed, and watch the open heaven be released over your situation. We just crossed a two-minute warning, so call right now, 888-665-4483. There's still time, and while you go to your phone, we're going to go back over to Pastor Amy. We are in the last few minutes of a matching challenge. And right now, as they've stated, there are miracles happening in families. And if you think about it in the days of Noah, do you remember what God used when he wanted to save his race, the human race? He used a family. God used a family. And today we know that as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be when the coming of the Son of Man comes. And I believe right now God is saving families. He's rescuing families. So we just call out your kids. We call out the husband. We call out the wife. You get on the boat. You get on the ark on. of safety. You get on the ark of salvation. I love the scripture that he's started with in Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. And we just say that the Lord is the shepherd over your family and that you shall not lack. You shall not want. You shall not need any good thing because he is your provider. Listen, we are not your provider. I even say my husband is not my sole provider. He is my provider. I'm not limited to him. I'm limited to him and his limits are abounding. People are calling in and I encourage you right now in these last few seconds, call in at 888-665-4483. Let's get your family on the ark of safety. God is using families in this last day. Pastor Gary, right now, Reverend Leo has called in with a gift of a thousand dollars. Isn't right. that amazing? And Pat has called in a gift of a thousand dollars. We're so grateful. And uh, Janice has called in with her gift of $50 a month. We cannot thank you enough. We are going to anoint these with oil. We believe that God is going to give you double back in Jesus' yes, name. Yes, that's right. And we've just got a few minutes left. Matt's going to come and pray over all of these, anoint them all. But listen, if we are going to reach our goal of $200,000 we need some large gifts. Norma, I like to call them sizable gifts. On our chart today, we have a, a person, just one of you, that could sow a $5,000 seed. Two of you to sow at that $2,000 level. Maybe there's someone, you know, you just, you have that ministry of giving. And you could sow a 10000 or a 15000 a $20,000, $25,000 seed. If you would like to talk to our president, Steve Johnson, or Tom Hollis, our COO, just let the prayer partner know that, and you could get more specific details. But we need some of you, not everyone could do this, but we need some of you to sow at that higher level of giving, would you call 888-665-4483? You know, the Lord never asks us for what we don't have. But if you've been blessed, if you have the resources and you can move it out and make room for God to even give you more, you've been a faithful steward. And God says, what's in your hand? If you could sow that $5,000 level or $2,000 level or even more, go to the phone right now, 888-665-4483. Matt, we're going to ask you to just pray over not only all the pledges, but all of our Cornerstone family. Would you do that as the Lord leads you? Yes. 
Yes, Father, right now we lay hands on these pledges, on these prayer requests. We lay hands on it. Yes. And we thank you, Father, for the blood of Jesus Christ that covers every single person that is called in. Father, we thank you that the blood of Jesus covers their homes and their children and their children's children. And Father, tonight we declare an open heaven over them. Father, we declare divine healing. Father, we declare divine provision. Father, we pray in this hour that you would show each one, Father, that you are their source, you are their provider. And I pray that they would know the greatness of God, the goodness of God. Yes. Lord, I pray that, that they would be filled with divine, abundant life. I even thank you tonight, God, that you're breaking strongholds of depression. Yes. Father, you're breaking strongholds of sickness. Yes. You're breaking strongholds of fear and anxiety. Yes. Yes. And yes. you are yes. setting families free, yes. households yes. free. In the yes. mighty name yes. of Jesus, name we of decree Jesus. and declare yes. that you and your household will be saved Amen. and delivered yes. and healed. Yes. In the name, the, the mighty name, name the matchless name of Jesus matchless. Christ. Yes. Thank Hallelujah. you, Jesus. Thank Hallelujah. You, Amen. Amen. Oh, the Hallelujah. presence of the Lord is so strong. Just receive it right there in your home and on your family. Receive that fresh oil. And maybe you have, have not wanted to call, but you want to just send a gift in the mail. I want to give you our address. It's Cornerstone Television Network, 1 Signal Hill Drive, Wall, Pennsylvania, 15148-1499. We're going to go back to the Binions to take us out in some anointed worship. Thank you for your prayers and partnership. God bless you.